A principal forced to back down after intense scrutiny. Welcome news to many students, both past and present. I'm certainly pleased to hear that they have withdrawn the enrolment contract, um, but I do, I'm still very concerned. It has been so divisive. It has caused such sort of ripples of hurt and confusion among um, parents and families and students. In a letter to parents, the principal of City Point Christian College said, we deeply regret that some students may feel they were discriminated against because of their sexuality or gender identity. But he insisted the college has the freedom to maintain its Christian ethos and will continue to do so. I'm not convinced by the words the principal has written. I am still strongly convinced that he is firm in his beliefs surrounding this. The controversial contract described homosexuality as a sin and compared it to pedophilia. It was sort of mystifying to have this, this rather militant, almost hostile contract that was issued with threats and ultimatums addressed to parents when we, we thought we were the, we're, we're the friends of the school. It comes as federal parliament considers the Prime Minister's religious discrimination bill, which, if passed, would allow people of faith to discriminate against others in the interests of religious freedom. But even Scott Morrison condemned the school's approach. No, I don't support that. Mm. Um, I mean, my kids go to a Christian school here in Sydney and I wouldn't want my school doing that either. He insists the bill will be amended to ensure children aren't discriminated against. Jared Mifsud graduated in 2009 and says he found it difficult being gay at the college. There is this underlying sense of discrimination against um, LG, LGBTQI plus students in the school and this is only happening because of how much um, the overwhelming response to this has been. The college maintains the enrolment contract was lawful and did not constitute discrimination. The school says it's also concerned some students have been vilified in the community for their religious beliefs and for simply attending the school. The pressure is now on the principal, Pastor Brian Mulheron, and whether he will remain in the job to bring a divided and hurt community back together. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News.